Hey guys, welcome to Daily DSA Practice. And the question which I'm doing today is very much similar to the previous question which I have done. So this is basic calculator two, right? If you have not watched it, watched it guys, because in this question, I am doing basic calculator three, which is a hard question. The two one, it is was a medium question. And why it is hard? See, the question is exactly same. So given a string, we have to evaluate the expression and return its value, same. Input a string, which is a valid string, consider of plus minus divide into, which is exactly same as basic calculator two. Now what difference and what makes it hard is this part. The input string also contain open and closing braces, right? So that's the only difference in this question, which makes it a hard category question. Okay. So let's see an example first, then I will give you a brief like what we did, right? And how we can enhance the same solution to incorporate this one, right? So now you already know that, right? This is having more priority than any of the operator. So here in this case, first, this will get calculated, right? And when this get calculated first, so two and two, so this will get computed first. So what it will be five four zero twenty, then it would be so you know right. Uh, first priority is this. Then as I'd mentioned you that multiplication and divide and then plus and minus, right? So operator in the same level goes priority from left to right, whichever comes first, right? So here plus minus goes from left to right, whichever comes first. So here uh, into comes first. So it will get uh, used first, like if divide is second, then it comes second. Okay. So this is the basic thing which we have to know, which I've already told in the first question. So now how you compute it, right? What would be the answer for this example? We'll see quickly. Uh, so it's five plus 20 minus 10, right? Uh, divide by three plus then again, we will compute this first. And inside this, we will uh, do this high priority. So four divided by two, two plus nine. Okay. And the second step, what we will do is complete this one, uh, left to right. So plus will be do first 25 minus 10. It's 15, right? Divide by three plus 11. So now this is all computed. Now it would be two into right. So now we have, so this is almost done. Uh, this curly braces is computed now. Okay. And now into and divide. So go from left to right. So this is 30 divided by three plus 11, then 10 plus 11, 21 is the answer. Okay. So you, you know, the basic uh, computation logic. So now how to do this hard part, if you understand this problem, basic calculator two, right? Very well. Like I'll take a simple example, this one internal one. And I'll tell you just a reminder how we solved it. Five plus five into four minus 10, right? There is no bracket. So how we solved it, we took one stack, right? We iterated from here to end, right? So let's say our, we kept one operator or variables like number and operator. Okay. So currently, so initially it is in starting. It is positive only, right? So current operator is positive and first number is five, right? So we will put this five first. Okay. So we kept this operator first. Now it move ahead. Now the operator changed to pos uh, positive. So it's, uh, it's already positive, but we change it to plus. And after we put into the queue, it became zero, right? Then we move ahead, become five, right? And when it become five, then after we will see that, okay, operator is plus only. So it's okay. We will put it again. So we will put, so you can say that it's plus five, right? So this becomes zero. It move ahead. My operator changed to now into move ahead. Number become four. Now, when it's become into, we have to give it priority over plus and minus, right? So what would be the number now? 
so it we will pop it one we will pop it one so it's five into whatever the number four 20 we will push 20 okay so it become zero after we computed then operator become minus so it changed to minus now right and then number become 10 so number become 10 right so when number become 10 operator is minus so what we put if you remember from the previous question minus 10 once we did it right now we just do summation of all minus 10 plus 20 plus 5 this is already popped up before so what's the answer 10 plus 5 15 right so the answer for this is 15 okay so this is what we solved in a previous question right now what how to extend this problem to solve the same braces one right so here if you just observe this thing right just take simple 2 into 5 plus let's say another bracket comes 2 1 2 plus 1 then this close plus 3 let's say I am just taking uh, just a use case in a open braces there is another open braces right I am just taking the use case so what you are what your first instinct is your first interest is okay I will start solving with the same approach what I am solving as of now right I am start solving with the same approach because it's all include plus minus divide and into right all I have to give is so let's say I started solving first they two my number is two and first operator is plus okay so once the number comes to what I put it I put it into the queue 2 right it became 0 right and I move ahead so my operator become n2 now so this has been removed okay now I moved ahead when I get open braces so now you know that when you get an open braces right this has to be put on hold and now this from ahead we have to compute it again so this is on hold till now so now this is on hold till now now internally I am now solving it from here internal first and whatever the output will come I will put it here that will become its number right so now I am solving it here okay my here num is an operator so operator it's let's say plus num is 5 okay so I put a 5 here okay and uh, it becomes 0 after I put into the queue then I move ahead here then it's plus so this has been changed to again plus then again I got it open braces right once I get an open braces again you know that okay this has to be put on hold because out its output will come once internal will solve so this is going internal right till it is on hold now you are creating a new stack right num initially is 0 operator is nothing so now you will start from here okay my operator is initially plus now num comes to num comes to what you will do is okay it's a plus operator right so I'll put 2 here it becomes 0 I'll move ahead operator change to plus oh it's already plus let's say right then you move ahead a 1 1 comes in my number comes 1 so now what you say that a it's plus only so I'll put here now you got a curly braces whenever you got a curly braces means expression finish I need to compute now you need to compute this and uh, now you compute this what would be you have to just sum 1 plus 2 3 so it will return 3 here right so my number here will change to 3 right so this has returned 3 so now my expression at second step become 2 into 5 plus 3 plus 3 right so I got a number 3 here right previous operator is plus so I know that I just have to whenever it's plus I just simply push it up okay so now I move ahead I got a 
closing braces. Closing braces means evaluation complete. I just have to sum it up and return. 5 plus 3, 8. So it will return 8 to here. Okay. So now my expression changed to 2 into 8 plus 3. Right. So now 8 has been reached till here. What was the previous operator? Into. Right. So I know that whenever into or divide comes, I have to resolve it. So I pop it up 8 into 2, 16 and I'll put a 16 here. So after it becomes 0, it move ahead, it is changed to plus, it move ahead, number comes 3. So now whenever number comes 3, I look at the operator, if it is plus, I will push it up, it become end, I just do sum. 16, 17, 18, 19. Output is 19. So you know that what we have done. So now you have observed that, hey, whenever we get a bracket, we just holding it and computing the internal ones. Whenever any bracket comes, we are holding it and computing it once. And internal, when it gives, we are kind of doing a recursion. So the same thing I have done, the same solution. So if you understand the previous question, it's the same thing. Whenever the plus comes, I directly push into the queue. Whenever the operator is minus, I'll uh, append the minus one. Whenever into and divide comes, I whatever I told you, take out the previous number, compute it and then add it. So this is all same. This logic is all same. The only difference is this two, this part. Whenever I get open braces, right? Whenever I get open braces, 3 plus 2. Whenever I get open braces, I whatever my index is, I will increment it plus 1 and compute, calculate, call the recursion method again. Recursion, compute expression again. Right? So from, from here, compute it again. Right? And whatever the output will come, it will store in the number. That will become my number. Right? And whenever I get a closing bracket means, whenever I get a closing bracket, hey stop, you don't have to compute it ahead also because this expression finished here. You just whatever in a stack, compute its value. So whenever I get closing braces, I just get, I just break it up. Whenever I do break it up. So two things happen. So see why I doing a insert into stack. Just understand this, three plus two. So now you say that you have added three, then you are here, then you added two. Now your pointer is here, right? Your pointer is here. So now when your pointer is here, so what I have to do, so till now, uh, this is not done. Two is not pushed, right? So two is not pushed. So whenever as per my code, whenever it reached to an operator, I assume that, okay, number is finished because number could be multiple digit, right? Two, three, four. So I have to keep adding it's two, then it become 23, then it hey, two, three, four. When it reached to a non digit, then I say that, okay, the number formation is completed, right? So whenever I reach till here, then only number is completed. So when I reach till here means it's a kind of a closing. So first I do is like whatever the number I've created, I insert into the stack, right? And after that, I break it up after I break it up. I just do a sum 3 plus 2 5 right and return and whatever the number it got it just do the same thing so it's a very simple method it's a very simple coding if you understand the first question right if you understand the first question basic calculator right because the solution which I have made is totally depend on it the same solution nothing added only thing is this two if else condition I've added. Okay. And I, I have explained you why. So whenever is an open braces, why I'm doing a recursion. I have explained you this, right? And whenever I got a closing braces, why I'm doing a break, right? Whenever I got a closing braces, I have to break and return. Okay guys. So this is a hard question, but very, very similar to the medium one. Only difference is we need to handle this two use cases. Time complexity is same, big of n. Why? Because if you see that we are only one time iterating from here to here, right? Even though we are doing a recursion at this place, but once internal, this is completed, 
we are no more doing the same again and again right so let's say for example 5 plus 3 plus 2 into 7 so when we are here recursion compute this and ultimately when it return our index here reach to here so ultimately we are processing every uh, expression every character in a string only once so time complexity is big go of n okay guys see you in next question i hope this question you will find it easy but if you think that i am little bit hurry in this one i would definitely tell you go and check this basic calculator too then it will make more sense that what i have done right and if you understand this recursion logic why recursion i used then it this is if else is nothing okay guys see you bye